sooner had we posted the video of our entire collection of dino bots or rescue bots then we started seeing the brand new rescue bots in stores which is super exciting but it means they didn't make it into the video of our entire rescue bot collection anyway we picked up these two new ones at target last night all they had was heat wave and boulder they are the exact same size as the pvc figures in fact these two look pretty darn similar but these ones are a harder plastic and they move Heatwave does his fire axe. And Boar does his trail. Yep. These ones are single packaged, whereas and these, you know, this come. It isn't like. No. Paper. He's a PVC figure. These two, these ones come foil packed, as you know, or two to a pack. So these ones are a little bit pricier. <laughs> And then this one, I never see Rescue Bot stuff in Target's dollar spot or one spot, but I happened to see this, so I picked it up and we're gonna open it up and see what's inside. Usually they have regular Transformers Back stuff in there. Here. Yeah, go ahead and open that and see what's in there. So it's just a grab and go play pack, but I thought we would check it out. So as little dude pointed out to me, it is a Dino Bot one because there's Boulder the Stegosaurus. Triceratops. I keep calling him a Stegosaurus. Here's the little coloring book that comes with it. It has Heat Wave, the Brontosaurus or Brachiosaurus on the front of it, and Chase. That's cool that it's a Dinobots coloring book. We do have a different Rescue Bots coloring book, but it's just regular Rescue Bots. It's not the Dinobots one. So that's a nice little coloring book. Let's see all the stickers that it comes with. Wow. That's really cool. Dinobots stickers. And crayons, of course, to color in the coloring book. So that's a fun little pack for a dollar. First, I want to do Boulder. Our box, Bear Drive. Okay, I guess the plastic is a little more rubbery than I thought, so it's not a hard plastic. Only the little um, articulated parts are and the heads turn, so I guess they are actually pretty much identical to the PVC figures. They are PVC figures that come double packed or foil packed. They just have a little bit more going on in terms of articulation. This is one of the old ones. That does turn, but of course you can't press a button and make him do something kind of like Boulder does. So it's cool there's more options to get the rescue bots single packed. It would be cool to start seeing some of the humans single packed so that Optimus Prime, if we want to get Cody, then we have to get another double of Optimus Prime. So what kind of the same Optimus Prime, the basic Optimus Prime. So what do you think of these new guys? I've complained a lot on our channel how easily the Rescue Bots toys break. I don't know if Hasbro is listening and maybe this one will hold up, but all I see when I look at this is one more thing to break. So hopefully that stands up and will stand the test of time. I guess we'll have to see on that one. Maybe it can transform by that. Yeah, that's the other thing. They don't transform. Little dude kept asking me, do these guys transform? No, they don't. Just like the PVC figures, they have the same kind of movement, the ball jointed on the armpits, and then they can sit down, but right. they don't transform. I'm gonna do this with my hand. Wanna try to do that? So pretty standard as Rescue Bots toys go. I'm sure we're gonna start to see Chase and Blades and maybe even Optimus and Bumblebee in the stores as well. So we're gonna keep our eye out for those and probably pick them up. $5, a little pricier, but uh, again, they do have some features that the other PVC figures don't. And then this was just a fun little thing to find in the dollar spot as well. So thumbs up on these. And if you like Rescue Bots, there's a lot more Rescue Bots over on our channel. So make sure and check that out. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Jim Potter.